What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and this is Simply Must Go and you are not gonna wanna miss this video today. Today I'm gonna share with you some of the best places to overland in the Southeast. Now whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I've asked some of my good friends and fellow YouTubers to share with you their favorite overland trails in the Southeast. Now I'm gonna start off with a trail that actually I cut my teeth on in overlanding and it's a trail that runs through or rather around my home state of South Carolina called the SCAR. The South Carolina Adventure Route, or the SCAR, is an 1100 mile loop around South Carolina, from the ocean to the mountains. This trail consists of blacktop, dirt, sand, gravel, and mud. Besides being the trail with the coolest name ever, the SCAR takes you through some incredibly beautiful areas that range from small town Americana to forest, countryside, state parks, historical sites, swamps, farmland, and gorgeous mountain views and deep blue lakes. Like most of these trail systems, you can pick it up or leave it just about anywhere you want along the path. So if you want to head east towards the ocean or west towards the mountains, you can. The SCAR itself is fairly mild, however the best way to think of the SCAR, at least in my mind, is as a general guideline. We found that the side trails, particularly the ones leading to epic campsites in the mountains, were a completely different breed of trail. Some of those absolutely required four-wheel drive. I was able to do most of them in my YJ, but I really had to be careful about my lines and there were a few trails that were just too much and I would have needed a winch to get through. That said, I did all those same trails in my Rubicon with lockers and had no issues, even with the stock suspension and pulling a trailer. So the moral of the story is, use your best judgment and I am not responsible if you get stuck. If you're interested in the SCAR, you can head to the official SCAR website, which will be linked in the description. Here you can download the free GPX files and use an interactive Google map that will give you a ton of waypoints along the way, including possible camping locations. If you want to do the SCAR in one big trip, I would budget four or maybe five days depending on how far you want to drive each day, how much side trail exploring you want to do, and if you'll be trying to find dispersed campsites or paid forestry sites or some other type of lodging. Remember, this is South Carolina, so unless you're going in the winter, or maybe even then, you're going to run into mosquitoes, spiders, snakes, and possibly other wildlife, so plan accordingly. So whether you're a beginner or you're just looking for some new trails to explore, I definitely recommend checking out the SCAR. It's got a little something for everybody. Now I want you to hear from my hometown boy, Will, or Sir William Goes. Now, truth be told, there would be no Simply Must Go without Will's YouTube channel. His channel inspired me to go out and start filming and exploring. So I'm really excited to hear what Will has to share with you today. What's happening? It's Sir William from the YouTube channel Sir William Goes. Currently, I'm not in the Southeast. I'm in Arizona as I full-time travel around this beautiful country. But the Southeast is near and dear to my heart because that's where I started my overland journey about seven years ago. Now, rather than give you guys one specific trail that I like, I'm going to give you guys a couple specific areas that I like. First and foremost is going to be the Pisgah National Forest. Again, the Pisgah National Forest is near and dear to me because that's where I cut my teeth in overlanding. The very first trail I ever took was in the Pisgah National Forest known as Hurricane Creek Trail. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check it out. Also, a fun trip to Max Patch is in order if you're out that way anyway. Next is going to be the Cherokee National Forest. Again, tons of different trails to go explore, lots of camping options. And one of my favorite areas of the Cherokee National Forest is the Cherahala Skyway. I think that's how you say it. If not, you can correct me down in the comments below. My biggest suggestion for you would be to download a map of the area and then just get out there and go see what you can see. Be sure whenever you go explore any of these areas that you tread lightly, you pack out all your trash and you stay on trail and don't forge new trails. If you want to check out some of my adventures on these trails, be sure to head over to Sir William Goes on YouTube. I got tons of different videos of these very areas for you to enjoy. Till next time, you guys keep hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit. And remember, you can be happy if you've mind to. Peace, y'all. Thank you so much, Will. I definitely need to explore a little bit more around Pisgah, but I absolutely agree. Hurricane Creek is such a fun trail. 
Now I want you to hear from Asia from Baptism Overland. He's got a great YouTube channel full of DIY stuff, gear reviews, and epic adventures. Hey everybody, this is Asia Sampson with Baptism Overland. Now, Matt, you asked me where is my favorite place to go camping, overlanding, off-roading, and I'm gonna have to be biased here, man, because I'm from Florida. I'm gonna say the Florida Adventure Trail. You know, anytime Florida comes up in conversation, like we always seem to have a bad rap. People will say stuff like, yeah, well, there's no mountains there. There's no rocky terrain rains there's no challenges it's always hot but if you're not from here or from the south like you couldn't be more wrong what is the Florida Adventure Trail? Well, the Florida Adventure Trail is 1,200 miles of just trails starting from Osceola National Park, goes all the way down to Ocala National Park, then comes up the bend of Florida all the way into the Panhandle. And let me tell you, it is filled with not just challenges, but amazing views. One of the great things about camping and overlanding here in Florida you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff, especially when you come around the bend of Florida, there is an area where it's just road and on both sides of you is the ocean. Like you could not get a much more scenic view than that. And yeah, we may not have those mountains where you're riding the side of a cliff and you might fall over. And yeah, we're not gonna be like Moab where you're crawling over humongous rocks. However, be careful of those water crossings. Those water crossings are going to eat you up. And people always say, well, it's just a little bit of water. Until you get through it after a rain and it's been muddy, and before you know it, you are winching people out. There is a lot of fun to be had here. And the places that you can camp here is awesome. There are places to camp on the beach. There are places to camp inside the woods. Like there are many places that if you follow the Florida Adventure Trail, you're gonna get all of that and I think that people should give it a chance I think people should come down here check it out for themselves and be able to say that they did it because it is full of challenges full of scenic views and I think that those of you who come here and experience that are really going to enjoy it so how do you enjoy it We've made it super simple for you. Just go to the FloridaAdventureTrail.com or the FAT is what we call it. Download the GPX files and you will get all 1200 miles. Take it in sections or spend an entire week or two weeks just traveling that whole thing. It's an awesome, awesome experience and I urge you all to download those files. Also portions of the proceeds from those files goes to the Wounded Warrior program, which I think is just a great thing to do. All shouts out to John Berkmeyer from Sunshine State Adventure Company who created the FAT files, basically linked all the different trails that were in Florida so you can run it all in one shot. So go ahead and download the files. To me, it is my favorite place. And if you still need more convincing, check out my channel. There's a three part series on just the Florida Adventure Trail. And I believe you guys are really going to enjoy yourselves there. Asia, thank you so much for sharing with us today. I know for sure the fat is something I'm gonna be adding to my to-do list. Now I wanna introduce you to Russ from Adventure Russ, who has an awesome YouTube channel around exploration and his LT1 swapped Jeep. It's a pretty awesome vehicle. Thanks, Matt. And hey, everybody. My name is Russ, and on the Adventure Us YouTube channel, we talk about Jeeps and all things off-road vehicle-based adventure. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure to check out the Adventure Us YouTube channel later on. Not right now. Okay? Cool. All right. When Matt reached out and asked me what my favorite place to overland in the southeast is, a three- to four-day long adventure called the Georgia Traverse immediately came to mind. This is a 390 mile long route, tons and tons of points of interest along the way. Although it is kind of a beginner uh, level trail, there are some obstacles and some places along the trail that's gonna give you a little bit of a challenge, but all of that is offset by beautiful campsites that are mostly plentiful, uh, depending on the time of year you go and where along the trail you're looking for a campsite because there are some places that are accessible to uh, our two-wheel drive friends but this trail is packed with water crossings with plentiful campsites like I said mountain views it's just a great great trip so if you're looking for a good three to four day long adventure I highly suggest it you can also check out the route and all of those points of interest at georgiaoverland.com Dave has put a fantastic resource not only did he map the whole trail over years but he actually keeps the site updated has a frequently asked questions section 
It uh, gives you a good list of all the things that you might need and you might come across uh, along the trail, including road closures, what to do, inclement weather, that kind of stuff. Um, it's a really, really great resource. So if you're interested in running the Georgia Traverse, I highly, highly recommend you visit georgiaoverland.com. You can even download the GPX files for free there. So kudos to David for putting all of that together. He did a, ph a phenomenal job with that. One thing is for sure, no matter the size of your group or the size of your tires, you're gonna wanna check out the Georgia Traverse. If you wanna watch some videos on the Traverse and our experiences, the several times that we've done that, you can check that out, obviously, on the uh, Adventurous YouTube channel. Uh, check out S3 Magazine. There's a really great series on it, as well as the Jeep and Bubba YouTube channel. Thank you so much to Matt for putting this video together, for inviting me to be a part of it. And if you're watching this and you are not subscribed to the Simply Must Go YouTube channel, you are doing yourself a disservice. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Click, it's free, all that kind of stuff. Comment, share, all that kind of good stuff. And like I always say on the Adventurous YouTube channel, I hope you're living life adventurously. And until next time, I will see you on the trail. Russ, thank you so much. And the Georgia Traverse just looks absolutely awesome and I cannot wait to do it. Real quick guys, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. We're looking to get to 15,000 subscribers this year and we can do it, but we need your help. So if you'd hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Now I want you to hear from down south, off-road and outdoor. Kim is gonna share with us an awesome place to go that is also on my bucket list. Old Highway 105 is a well-maintained forest service road that should not require four-wheel drive in clear weather. It is located in the Pisgah National Forest in Western North Carolina. On the north end, you will find a ranger's cabin with recently posted information about the area. It is located near the Limville Gorge Wilderness Area, which was referred to by us locals as the Grand Canyon of the East. Old Highway 105 is a 13-mile gravel road that offers up breathtaking panoramic views of Table Rock Mountain, Hawksbill Mountain, Short Off Mountain, Lake James, and Wiseman's View. On clear days, you can see for hundreds of miles. Old 105 also provides quick and easy access to dozens of hiking trails that range from moderate to extremely difficult. Be sure to pack in proper gear as you are sure to lose phone service in this remote area. There are many amazing dispersed campsites along Old 105, but be sure to get there early in the week. The recent surge of outdoor adventure seekers and the easy to travel road has turned this gym into quite the hot spot. Two points of interest that we strongly encourage you to plan for. The first is the hike to Linville Falls, which the Cherokee Indians referred to as ECO, which means River of Many Cliffs. It is one of the largest waterfalls in North Carolina. Next is a stop at Wiseman's View. The path to the viewing area is paved and wheelchair accessible. It overlooks the spectacular Linville Gorge, which was carved by the Linville River. Old Highway 105 is how down south off-road and outdoor and our Camp Naked motto got its start. The ease and beauty of this area will inspire most everyone that visits. We hope you love it as much as we do. Jeremy and Kim, thank you so much for sharing Old 105 with us. That is a trail that's been on my list for a while, and I'm really glad to know it's just as pretty as everyone hypes it up to be. So now I wanna share with you Jesse from Spartan Overland, who actually created the Allegheny Discovery Route, which is an amazing route that I cannot wait to do. What's up guys? Jesse from Spartan Overland here. I'm here to talk about the Allegheny Discovery Route. So this is a route that I put together from a few sources, uh, mostly from the Overland Bound Forums, and it covers roughly 400 miles through Virginia and West Virginia. Now that's best to be taken over four days at least. You're going to encounter multiple water crossings, including a large one across the Dry Fork River. Most of the terrain you're going to see there is pretty easy. It's primarily dirt roads, forest service roads, um, but near the end, especially if you look at my route, you'll see Meadow Knob. That entire portion, I would say, is a moderate difficulty. It's going to be four-wheel drive required with some off-camber moments, but we got through there just fine, and we went through a second time and had a mostly stock 
4Runner with us, and they got through just fine as well. Pulling a trailer, even. I would say go during the spring. Your views are going to be the best at that point. But during the trip, you're going to see some beautiful alpine forests, similar to what you'd see in Canada. We've personally not encountered it anywhere else. You're going to encounter several fire towers, and tons of just generally interesting stops along the way. And if you're planning a route, uh, obviously I encourage you to reach out to me. I have no issues sharing my track, which also has all my waypoints and campsites marked. But also, if you reach out to Infamous Adventures, they sell a paper map. Uh, they call the IMAP paper. It's an Appalachian trail system. And this covers all of the routes that we took, plus some. We're actually going to head back up there because the Allegheny route has been our favorite overland trip that we've taken. This map is going to give you all of the, the paths that we took, including the rest. We did half of the Canaan Loop, and this will cover the second half. So feel free to reach out to them. Reach out, reach out to us. We look forward to seeing you guys on the trail. Thank you everyone so much for helping me out with this video. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you have done any of these trails, let me know in the comments down below which trails you've done and what you thought about them because I'd really like to know. I've added all of these to my short list. In fact, I'm gonna be spending about a week on the Georgia Traverse very soon and that trip is gonna be awesome. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can watch those videos when they come out. Also, if there's any trails that we didn't talk about that you absolutely love, go ahead and leave those down in the comments too so that we can talk about them in the future. That's pretty much it, except for the fact that you can get Simply Must Go merch now, which is amazing. Link's in the description down below. So anyway, guys, as always, God bless, and I hope to see you on the trails.